So Francis, don't you think it's sort of a lot for songwriters to expect of themselves to always have ideas coming off the top of their head? When you are a songwriter, you tend to write a lot throughout the week, and mm -hmm. that can be very draining. So yeah, just bouncing off other people or other sounds or other things to inspire you from is like super helpful. And one way to do that is just to get some inspiration from a sample or even just a tidbit of a sample, whether it's a lyric concept or a melody. You can use that to kind of start an idea kind of get your inspiration going, and then flesh out a full song. So now we're going to go into Arcade, and we're going to just flip through some of the different ideas that maybe we want to use as inspiration for our song. But first, I'm just going to play this sort of four-bar loop that I came up with that we're going to write to. Four bars is usually a good kind of length you feel like right for yeah. a loop to write to so we're just gonna make sure we have this looping and then we're gonna go into arcade and we're just gonna flip through some of these vocal samplers so as you can see there's 295 samplers right here in hooked that we have to choose from plenty of inspiration to draw whether it's melody or lyric ideas so we're just gonna go through a few of these and see if anything catches our ear Life without you. I can't believe it. Get out of this town. Just to see you, baby. Ooh, I don't know the reason. I can't get over you. No, 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 no. That was kind of cool. Yeah, I like that. I can't get over you. No, no, no. I feel like that's a pretty strong concept we could build around. You yeah, think? yeah. Cool melody. Let's try that one. Now I'm just going to find where that one little hook at the beginning there was on the keyboard. There it is. All right. So we're just going to record that in and kind of see how it sounds over our loop. I'm going to make sure I just quantize that so it's hitting right on the downbeat. I can't get over you. I can't get over you. So I'm just going to duplicate out this loop and have Francis get on the SM7 mic while it's playing in the room. Um, we want to just get the ideas down while the inspiration is there, and then we can worry about polishing all the vocals later on when mm. we're actually fully tracking them. So I'll just take out this hooked sample for now and have you record on a separate track. I can't get over you. Da, 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 da. Uh, That's cool. I can't get over you. Can't get over all that we used to do. Nice. I, love I that. can. Then loops again. Yeah, da, yeah, da, yeah. Da, da. We can kind of have some big shouts on the I oh, can. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that would be sweet. Uh, oh, let me do that one more time. Yeah, do that one more time. I can't get over you. Can't get over all that we used to do. I can't. Na, 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 na. Just repeat that. I can't. And then we'll figure out like a post section yeah, after that. Yeah, some other section after the chorus. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love that lyric too. I think that works great. Um, what I'm going to do for now is just throw a really rough vocal chain on here because I don't want to take too much time processing the vocal. I don't want to like get in the way of our creative flow here. So just going to throw a rough vocal chain on here so that we can hear it monitored back in the room well. I'm going to turn up the signal here. Just going to set my real-time tuning to the key of the song, which is going to be D major. That feels pretty good to me. Kind of the reason why we want to get these ideas down quickly with the SM7, right, is we can just go in and cut these. You know, maybe that was this part. I can't get over you, can't get over all. Possibly the beginning of a chorus, we're thinking, right? So we can mm -hmm. kind of just maybe bring this over here, add a locator here, call it the chorus. And then this way we can listen to this section that we came up with. Another tip that I like to use when we're trying to come up with different lyric ideas too take this and just filter it all the way down because maybe we're not set on that lyric yet and we just want to hear the melody in our heads so we can play. And that way, kind of whatever vowel sounds or lyrics you did in the initial take are filtered out and we're just hearing that melody and maybe that'll help us come up with whatever lyrics we want to come to. So let's just kind of go in and flesh out the rest of this chorus now that I feel like we have a really solid first half. 
I'm just gonna loop this with the vocal filter. You're saying it should repeat, but kind of do something a little bit different the second time around? Just like a minor thing, even yeah. if it's like an extra like rhythmic thing, if it's like. Oh, like nice. something like that on the second one, yeah. Okay, so now we got the melody down. I'm just gonna take out the vocal so we can kind of come up with some of those ideas. I can't get over you, can't get over all that we used to do. Killer. I can't lose all that we've been through. And I know the truth is I'm holding on to you. Oh, I can't, I can't get over you. And then it just transitions into a big section. Yeah, oh, sweet. Exactly, and then you hold yeah. it out. I love yeah, that. Yeah, I love yeah. that. And then we put some, maybe put some ooze on the, behind the you. I can't get oh. over you. And then yeah, just that would be nice. Have some ooze that are kind of moving, yeah, yeah. harmonizing with that last U. Yeah. That could be really cool. We're gonna build that out into maybe like another verse mm. that comes before that or something. I think like now it's like paying attention lyrically what we've said there. I do hear that as a chorus. So like, what do we say before that? And like, how do we build into that melody too? Is like right, right. That sets that up. So maybe maybe we want to start a verse in a lower part of your register yeah. so that we can, that, that chorus can really feel huge when it comes in. Mm -hmm. Maybe let's just, just kind of go through the loop again, just soloing the loop. Nice. Mm, that's... All right, uh, maybe like a little change at the end, like yeah. Nice, that's that's sweet. I like that. Um, I, I think the chorus needs to be introduced by like a pre-chorus, right? Uh, just to lead into that whole idea. Yeah, something that kind of builds and yeah. a little bit. And it doesn't have to be like a long section too. Like we just need something to kind of like get those steps to that final chorus yeah. moment, you know? Okay, cool. So let's go in and add a little bit of space here. And since you said maybe a shorter section, since this whole verse is about eight bars, I'm just gonna put in a four bar section here mm. and duplicate the loop. And then maybe a good way to do this is to just loop sort of the end of the verse going into this new section that we're gonna write and then have a little bit of that beginning of that chorus play just so we can kind of see when we're going through some of these melodies. Nice. Yeah, it needs to something like more. Oh, I like that. Kind of ascending like that, yeah. Oh, yeah. We can play around with the yeah. ascending and descending more. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. I like the space in there, yeah. Something like... I love that. I feel like it probably... I don't even know if it needs to be longer than that, right? No, I think just that there. length is, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's perfect. Why don't we just go in and record that? All right. Here we go. Well, what could be really cool there too at the end is if we just drop out the beat. Mm, yeah. Right, where you sing that last to note. So that note as yeah, well. that last Ooh. note that you sing is just you, and then bam, right into the beginning of the chorus. That could be sweet. Mm. So let's just, hear that back. Yeah. And extend the end of that verse, and we're just going to play from the end of the verse through this section. In my, in Let's track that in. Big important thing, always write down the lyrics <laughs> so you don't forget them. You're falling out of feelings. I'm missing the beginning. Everything is spinning in my, in my head. I'm getting caught up. I can't breathe underwater. Cause you're still spinning in my, in my head. Trying to find a heart in someone else. But it's hard as hell 
When there's nobody else I can't get over you Can't get over all that we used to do I can't lose all that we've been through When I know the truth is I'm holding on to you No, I can't, I can't get over you So we just demonstrated how you can use just one small vocal sample and turn it into an entire composition, verse through post-chorus. And really the key to this process is just not judging yourself, being very fast with ideas, not being too precious with your ideas, right? Not being too precious with the quality, right, to begin with. And you can always revisit a song when you think there's like better ideas that could go with it. But as of like the process of writing, the main thing is just to finish the writing. Now 